need to make a beautiful sunburst background in Illustrator? Let's find out how in this tutorial. Once you've created a new document, make sure you've turned on your smart guides, show rulers and show guides before you begin. With your rulers on, come over to the corner, drag out a guide and hold command, and then find the center point of your document before then releasing. From there, go to the pen tool, make sure you've got no fill selected and the stroke on, and draw out a line to create one burst of your starburst. Next, come over to your stroke panel, and if you can't find it, go to window stroke, and up the weight of your singular starburst. Next, then you'll go to profile, you'll select the width profile four, and then press the flip along button to make the burst come out from the center. Once you're happy with your singular burst, select it with the selection tool, come over to your rotate tool, click, hold alt, and then click the central point from the center of your four lines where they intersect. Once you've clicked that, your rotate panel will appear. Type 360 divided by the number of points you want on your starburst, and that will give you the exact degree you need to create the starburst. You can use the preview to see where the starburst will appear, and when you're happy with it, press copy, and you'll create the next burst in your starburst. From there then, hold Command or Control D, and you can duplicate the starburst until it's got a full number of points. From there, Command or Control minus to zoom out of the document, highlight all your starbursts, and then you can make this as big or small as you want by holding Alt Shift and scaling it. Come back then to your stroke panel, and here you can use the weight of the strokes to create a thicker or thinner starburst, depending on the effect you're trying to achieve. When you're finally happy with the starburst, highlight all the points in the starburst, Go to Object, Expand Appearance, and you can finally then unite the shape using the Pathfinder tool. If you want to see what the starburst looks like on the size of the canvas, create a rectangle that's the size of your canvas, highlight both, then go to Object, Clip in Mask, Make, and then it will finally show you what your starburst will look like to the width and length of the canvas. And there you have it. That's how to create a simple starburst effect in Illustrator using a few simple techniques. Really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, turn on the notifications for future tutorials, and let me know in the comments what other things you'd like me to see do in Illustrator or any other Adobe software. Until next time, keep designing, and I'll see you for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.